Pinocchio 3.5 is a modern retelling of uh, the 19th century classic that everybody's familiar with. Um, it's one that I grew up with and one I was uh, one of my favorites. It terrified me as a child and, and it, it made me laugh as a child and it taught me lessons as a child. And as an adult looking back on it, it's something that I really enjoyed and I got to show to my children. Something that's vital to the storytelling here is Pinocchio wants to be a real boy and he wants to be a real boy because he loves his father. It isn't about that he wants to acquire a toy or he wants to go play. It's because he has decided that his family is more important than stuff. It really shows you how it is to be a human. It's not about, it's not always about yourself. It's about other people. You have to be caring, you have to be honest. It's to be a better part of the society. So it's very, interesting to you know act beside this robot who is trying to figure out you know how to be more human but he keeps getting sidetracked by all these robotic parts his movements are wonky and he's trying to figure out exactly how he fits into this whole piece and so just trying to facilitate that and help him stay in his robotness but also figure out that humanness quality inside of him is a really cool thing to be playing back and forth with I get to explore all different kinds of motions, like isolations, like how I can move my body to like mimic the motions of like a machine, and all that like adds to the character of Pinocchio and make him look more real, more authentic as a robot boy. Well, you see the set behind me is a, a mishmash, a jumble of all the things in the world that distract us. We've got computers, we've got toys, we've got, we've got everything back there. It's, it's representative of what's going on in Pinocchio's head. It's all, he, you know, he's new to the world and he sees this fantastic wonderland and he wants everything that he sees. And until he gets those things and realizes that they don't fulfill him, that what he really needs is a family. The show is very active. We have many, many colorful characters that resemble the characters from the actual, the classic Pinocchio story. And there might be some surprises way for you to come and find out. The show doesn't play down to the kids. It's a smart show, it has a lot of comedy, um, and it makes the kids think and it plays up to them. Well, coming to the show is exactly what the message of the play is, is to put down the electronics, put down the, sh the toys, and sit and interact with the people around you. Coming to the theater with a group of your friends or with your family is an experience you can share, but not just with them, with the actors on stage. You're part of the show.